Welcome to the Marketing Smarts Live show by Marketing Pros and the Marketing Smarts Podcast, where we dive into B2B news, resources, valuable guest content, and much, much more each and every week. Hey, if you're a B2B marketer looking for a place to learn, keep up to date and have some fun. That's right. Along the way, grab a beverage, a notepad, or at least some style of writing utensil, and welcome to the show. Hello to all my Marketing Smarts Live viewers today. I'm super excited to bring you another episode of the Marketing Smarts Live show. This week's topic is all about sales and marketing alignment insights, strategies, and <sighs> success indicators. So if you're ready to get your learn on, buckle up and let's get ready to rock and roll. As you hopefully know, I'm your boy, George B. Thomas, speaker, trainer, catalyst, and host of this here show, the Marketing Smarts Live Show, as well as the Marketing Smarts Podcast, found probably on your phone, but maybe not, found on your favorite podcast app. Our guest clips today are brought to you by none other than Matt Hines. Matt Hines, president and founder of Hines Marketing, a Seattle marketing agency focused on sales acceleration. He has 15 years of marketing, business development, and sales experience from a variety of organizations and industries. Matt's career focuses on consistently delivering measurable results with greater sales, revenue, growth, product success, and customer loyalty. He has helped organizations such as Amazon, Seagate, Morgan Stanley, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, and many others Create predictable, repeatable sales and marketing engines that fuel growth. Some names right there, ladies and gentlemen. Matt is a repeat winner of the top 50 most influential people in sales, lead management, and 50 sales and marketing influencers. Now, remember, the clips of Matt Hines today are pulled from the full Marketing Smarts podcast episode. And if you want to listen to the full interview with Matt Hines and myself, Make sure to tune into the Marketing Smarts Podcast. The link to the full show will be in the description below after this live show ends. Let's be honest, it's there now, but just wait till the end and click it. Now, in this episode, again, I'm talking to Matt Hines about sales and marketing alignment, insight, strategies, and success. Success. Woo, we, my goodness. Success indicators. I maybe need some more coffee, but maybe I'll take a couple sips because now you get to see this clip where I ask Matt. What can we do to get started and to understand the sales and marketing alignment, gaining more insights? Listen close to what he has to share in this clip. His words are powerful. All right. Here's what I want you all to do. Either take a spreadsheet, a blank spreadsheet, or just take a piece of paper. And down the left-hand side, I want you to write the titles of the people that are involved in the buying process, right? So we know that there's buying committees involved, different peoples with different roles, different titles. Write down those titles as you know them today. I'm not going to ask you to go do personas like we'll do that later, whatever, fine. Write down those titles, at least three to five, right? Like at least three to five. And then across the top, I want you to write a couple sales stages. The first stage I want you to do is, is, is awareness. The second stage I want you to do is uh, challenge the status quo. And the third stage I want you to do is commit to change. Now, what I want you to do in each of the cells that you now have underneath those for each of those individuals is think about the sentence or the couple bullets that's the message. What are you going to put in front of someone that's going to get their attention and earn their attention with something that sort of is, you know, sparks their brain a little bit? How are you going to challenge the status quo of what they're doing today? And then how, what, how, why would they commit to change based on those insights? Here's the catch, George. You are not allowed to talk about your product or service in any of that content. And so we do, we do this exercise with sales teams all the time. And that's the hardest part. They can't wait to use their product and service as an example of challenging the status quo, as a reason to commit to change. And none of that is necessary to get those messages across the prospect. In fact, the longer you wait in that process to bring up what you sell, the more the, com the customer is committed to that outcome for themselves. And if you can customize that to each of those individuals in the buying process to have a distinct message for each, you've got them more engaged and you're more likely to build consensus amongst them around that commitment to change down the line. That's what gets them committed to the full sales process. I have to ask, are you building that worksheet yet? Have you scheduled the meeting? Do you need better alignment? That is the question. Do you need better alignment? There we go. 
We all need better alignment, to be honest with you. But do you need better alignment and insights in your organization around sales and marketing? Let me know. Put the answer to that in the chat pane. And let me know on X using the hashtag, hashtag MPP2B. And, of course, tag me using at George B. Thomas. Now, we'll get back to Matt Hines and his thoughts on sales and marketing alignment, insights, strategies, and success indicators. First, I have to ask, are you part of the Marketing Profs community yet? If not, become part of the Marketing Profs community by heading over to mprofs.com forward slash MP today. Now, it's time for one of my favorite sections in the B2B news, where we talk about breaking B2B news or really important tips we find on the Google News tab. I mean, it could be Bing, but it never is. It's usually Google. Anyway, the Google News tab related to you and your B2B business this week. The title is Marketing and Sales Can't Align Without This. I don't know what this is. You'll have to read the article to find out. I mean, I do know because I read the article, but by John Arnold. <laughs> Are your marketing and sales functions aligned? It may depend on who you ask. Business and technology decision makers who work in sales are almost twice as likely as those in marketing and say that marketing operates independently or is minimally aligned with other internal functions. Whether the disconnect is more perception or reality, the results of its misalignment are dismal. Despite all the advancements in frontline marketing and sales technologies and processes, only 10% of B2B sales and marketing leaders say that their sales representatives have plenty of high quality leads. Dang, gone. It's time to change your approach to sales and marketing alignment. To read this article, check out the link below when the live show is over. So with that said, let's get back to Mac, Matt Hines and his Marketing Smarts podcast episode. In this next clip, I wanted to ask Matt about the hurdles we may face along this journey of sales and marketing alignment insights and the strategies that we are using. Again, Matt dropped some knowledge bombs along the way. So let's take a listen and a look. So you're basically talking about a pre-postmortem right? Like we've done these programs for so many companies and, you know, you get like, everyone's got great intentions and then you start to execute and then you reach that trough of dis disillusionment, right? Where everyone's like, why isn't this working the way we want to? And we come up with like almost the same reasons every time. And a couple of them, without getting into the full detail, a couple of them, one of them is just a lack of embracing the complexity of modern B2B sales and marketing, right? This is going to be more complex. This is going to be more difficult engaging in a, in a integrated dance between sales and marketing is going to take more forethought and more process and more systems than you may be used to doing. I guarantee you it will be worth it. I guarantee you it's going to create better outcomes for you. If you, if you invest less money in media and more money in your, in your systems and in your data and your processes, you'll be in far better shape. So that lack of being willing to embrace complexity is one of them. And you get up front, you just say, listen, we know this is going to be hard. We know this is going to be a challenge. We know this isn't going to be perfect but we're going to go through it. The other one is having a more integrated approach for data management. Like you can't just have some data in your marketing automation platform and some in your CRM and it doesn't talk to each other. Like if you're going to take a more nuanced approach and a more account-based approach to your marketing and sales moving forward, your systems need to talk to each other and your ability to manage and update and, and, and enrich that data is going to be critical to doing this moving forward. This levels up, George, like the, the, the level of sophistication and the expertise you have to have internally around technology systems and data increases. It doesn't mean you're deprioritizing creative. It doesn't mean you're be deprioritizing story. It makes those things more important, but to make them stand out and effective, you have to have some of those fundamentals and those systematic tools put in place. Have you faced any of those hurdles? Did you hear this giving you or did hearing this give you an action plan moving forward? I hope so. I hope so. We'll get back to Matt Hines in a few minutes, but first it's time for some dope B2B learnings from the vault of Marketing Profs articles. That's right. It's time to dig into the treasure trove of valuable information and pull out two. Pieces of gold to help you be a better B2B marketer. Article number one this week is how to drive sales and marketing alignment in an enablement role by Tamara Schenk. Misalignment paired with moving targets happens in business every single day. Measuring things we can measure rather than things we should measure is a challenge every sales enablement leader is aware of. 
actions taken in marketing are not always consistent with actions taken in sales. Sometimes those respective sets of actions are even counterproductive. They block each other and don't create any value other than keeping everyone busy. Mm, I think about walking on a treadmill and going nowhere there, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know about you, but article number two this week is three steps to better marketing and sales alignment by Justin Gray. Sales and marketing alignment is both critical to achieve and difficult to measure. If asked about the state of your sales and marketing alignment, you'd likely say it's better than ever. But our perceptions rarely tell the full story. In fact, alignment within most organizations is actually failing, according to the recent Lead MD and Drift study. This article will walk you through more findings and outline how you can apply them in your own company to make a real impact on alignment and organizational success. Want to keep learning more? If so, check out the links in the description below after the live show to get access to both amazing Marketing Profs articles. Okay, back to Matt Hines. Let's dive back into this conversation of sales and marketing alignment insights, strategies, and success indicators. In this clip, I wanted to ask Matt, what the heck does sales and marketing alignment look like in a modern world? In other words, how do we know we've reached sales and marketing alignment insights, strategies, and success indicators nirvana? And here's what Matt had to share. For sure becoming one. And that doesn't mean that you have like one team that everyone reports into. I mean, it means you have one integrated team that everyone is engaged in their doing their jobs to be done to be successful. So I would define success in two ways. One, it's hitting your number, right? Like if, if, if marketing hits their MQL goal, but sales misses their number, you missed your number, right? Like if, if sales hits their net new number, but the company misses its revenue target, you missed your number. Right. You know, in this tighter market right now, a lot more companies are focused on customer led growth because net new uh, net new revenue and net new customers are harder to come by. Be able to make those transitions. Don't have territory wars around. Well, I just focus on net new. Maybe your function, maybe your resources should be focused on retention and renewal and cross sell and upsell right now to hit the revenue number. So first objective is hit your revenue goal. Second is build a system to be able to predictably do it moving forward. I can't tell you how many times, George, I've seen people hit their number in a particular quarter, but have no idea whether they can repeat it. Hey, we had a great quarter. I don't know what happened. We had a great trade show. I don't know what happened, right? What's your confidence? What's your sense, sense of confidence that you can do it again this quarter? What are the systems in place that can help you increase reliability, predictability of hitting that number and doing it as your, as your numbers continue to scale? Your ability to create predictable outcomes in a complex sales environment is one of the other objectives of doing this that will continue to help you hit your number over and over, over time. Are you hitting your numbers? The amount of times that Matt, you didn't hit your number. You didn't hit your number. Are you hitting your numbers? Are you hitting predictable outcomes? Heck, are you positioned to scale based on the alignment and success that you have achieved. We're gonna get some words of wisdom from Matt Hines here in a few minutes, but right now it's time to turn the spotlight on you, the Marketing Profs community. Yep, time for from the hashtag MPB2B community. Listen, we search far and wide in the hashtag MPB2B universe to find amazing information and conversations to bring to you, the masses. So first, make sure you're using the hashtag and second, make sure you have fun and add value to the community along the way. Then we'll spotlight you or your crew on the show. This week, it's Eunice Vegas. And I know I probably just demolished that, and I apologize, but I had to bring you to the forefront. They're helping manufacturing SMEs increase production efficiency through robotization, by the way. Holy crap. Great emoji use, too. His LinkedIn post goes a little something like this. Today, I had the privilege of representing industrial robotics company in the first ever Turkish lithium B2B forum at the Lithu Lithuanian. Sheesh, good Lord. Turkish Lithuanian B2B forum at the Lithuanian parliament. And again, robot emoji, well played. It was interesting and insightful to engage in conversations with innovative Turkish companies and find potential points of Synergy, love the handshake emoji. Looking forward to future collaboration. Yes, love the rocket ship. Hashtag industrial robotics. Hashtag automation. Hashtag B2B forum. Hashtag Lithuania. Hashtag Turkey. 
But you need to check out the description and click that link and check out the post. Read, learn more. Marketing Smarts viewers, I have to ask, are you going to be next to get the spotlight? I don't even know where that next came from. Holy crap. It's like I was like a 80s rock and roll. Next! 80s rock and roll guy. Uh, okay, enough of that. Remember, community, use the hashtag, hashtag MPB to be on Facebook, LinkedIn, or X, and get the light shined on your awesomeness in the next episode or a future episode of the Marketing Smarts Live Show. Pro tip, it won't hurt if you tag me in your post as well. I'm at George B. Thomas on LinkedIn and X. All right, let's kick it back to Matt Hines and some words of wisdom around this topic of sales and marketing alignment, insights, strategies, and success indicators. Here is what Matt Hines wanted to leave us with as we close out this episode. Uh, well, now that you've brought it, broadened that question, I mean, to me, like it goes back to sort of our why. You know, um, I mean, our, our purpose as a business, I mean, our, our, I used to think our purpose was like predictable growth through revenue responsible marketing. Well, that's not our purpose. That's our niche. That's what we do. But why do we do that? We do that because our purpose, our stated purpose as a business is to positively impact careers and lives by enabling work that matters. We can positively impact careers and lives by helping marketers be rev more revenue responsible by helping marketers create more impact in the business. That creates more upward mobility for them in their careers. It helps them create more flexibility in terms of how they do that. It's not just a, a forever checklist of getting tactics done, but doing the right things to drive revenue impact. So I feel strongly that if we can do the right work and we can focus on work that matters, that impacts our careers and our lives and the stuff that really matters to all of us. So that's what I get fired up about. Mm, mm, mm. Whoo, what do you get fired about up about? I don't know. I love Matt's words of wisdom. Why? Why do you do what you do? Do you know your why? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I sure hope so. Have you enjoyed today's journey? Let us know. Use that hashtag, hashtag MPB2B on whatever platform you're joining us on. It's time, ladies and gentlemen, head to the description below. Click on the link to the full Marketing Smarts podcast episode with Matt Hines and keep on learning more about sales and marketing alignment. Get those insights you need. Have those strategies that you can actually implement and find those success indicators. Remember, these are just a few clips of the original Marketing Smarts podcast interview. If you got value from today's show, hit that like and better yet, share it with a friend or coworker. To keep learning more, hit subscribe or watch additional Marketing Prof videos on your favorite social channel or head over to our YouTube channel if you're not there yet. Or you can go tune into the original Marketing Sports Podcast episode found on your favorite podcast app. Don't forget to become part of the Marketing Profs community by heading over to mprofs.com forward slash MP today. That's mprofs.com forward slash MP today. And as always, remember to be a happy, helpful, humble B2B marketing human. And we'll see you on the next episode of the Marketing Smarts Live show next week.